morning, this is Royce Davis with Idaho Flybox, and today we're going to tie, I promised, the last squala dry fly. Uh, this is the, what I just call the chubby squala. It's basically just based off the chubby Chernobyl, and just tie it in a, a squala colors, which is a fun one to drop flies off of, or it's really actually easy to see too. So I'll show you how we tie this one. Hey, like I mentioned today, we're going to tie the uh, chubby Squala. The hook that we're going to use is the TMC 5212 and an 8. Thread is just ultra thread black in size 70. What I like to do is use root beer crystal flash, which I will tie the entire length of the shank just to fatten up the body just a hair. Have that sticking out a little over a quarter of an inch. And then I'll place a small amount of dubbing, which the dubbing is the Spirit River Fine and Dry Amber. And I'll just make a small ball at the very back of the tail. So, next I just take black sheet foam and cut it about a quarter of an inch thick and with the little V tail on the back. Tie in the foam. Next I'm using Grizzly Flutter Legs in black barred root beer or if you had just black uh, that would work as well. So I tie a leg on each side. Like so I can adjust those legs after we're finished too. Next I take, what I use is just the Parachute Post um, White Wings from Hairline and I'll take a strand of that, I'll double it up tie that in over the top of the legs and the foam and I'll pull it back on itself, like so. Then I take the amber dubbing, and I'll dub over the white wing till it lays back. Like so. Get those legs situated a little bit. Next, I will actually I'll trim the trim the wing so it's the same length as the bottom, like so. And then I will take the amber dubbing and dub the body. I'll pull the legs and everything back out of the way. Now I'll dub up not all the way to the front of the hook, but I'll dub until I give myself a, a nice little space here. And I'll tie in the foam in the front. Tie a leg on each side. Like 
like so. And then again I'll take the wing and place it nice and long to the back wing, tie it in, and pull it back, and then make a wrap or two. And then the the dubbing's really what keeps the wing back. So we'll Dub in some dubbing, make a couple wraps till the wing stays back, like so. And then the last thing, just might need a little more dubbing. Put a few more wraps over that so it stays back farther. So the last thing I'll do is just kind of pull the foam back and dub in in front of the foam. Make another little ball like we did in the back. Make a ball in the front. And I will whip finish. Like so. And then the last thing I have to do is just trim everything up. So first thing I'll do is I'll trim the, the wing all the way back so it kind of flows into the, the back wing. Next, I'll trim my legs. I'll usually trim this side closest to me because they're all the same length, and then I'll pull them down on the bottom. Trim the other side. Same thing with this side. Pull them down to the bottom. Trim that side. Last thing I do is I'll trim the head up a little bit. Make it sure it's the right length I want. Put a little angle on the front of it. Like that. And adjust the legs a little bit. So they're not too crazy. Make sure all my lengths are the same. And that is it. That is the Chubby Squala. Again, I like to fish it on the Owyhee River or the South Fork of the Boise. And if there's one, if you have a hard time seeing uh, squala flies, uh, or want one that's a lot easier to see, this is a pattern that works well. So again, this is Royce Davis with Idaho Fly Box. And as always, happy fishing, and hope to see you on the water.